everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha Bio Omega, and Iran. So, Iran is rising. I think we can all agree on that. Whether it's the economy or the production or the military production or the well-being of our population, we are doing good. However, uh, before we jump into that and look at the population boosting focuses that we want to do today, because, you know, more people means more money means everybody is happier, I would like to address a couple of comments that you guys left on the videos, because, you know, they were on some kind of discussion. So, first of all, Mohamed Avdic um, suggested that we stop producing the men pads and... Uh, we produce something else and he's actually right. Uh, we do have a lot of man pads and we do have a lot of the 80 GM So I'm gonna cancel that production for now. Uh, I like to produce these because Almost every single unit you have will use these so they're always useful uh, But I looked around and I found out that we can produce a better uh, Command and control equipment. So we're gonna put those factories on it and let it run for a bit So I think we might keep producing this uh, as long as we need because the upgrades are going to be pretty good for us I think this is a 1984 version oh no it's a 1995 version okay so that one we definitely want to produce because they help I mean they help with organization recovery rate and they have higher reliability no what's the difference between the first one and this one so recovery rate is increased organization is increased that's about it and okay we get coordination but well, that's not that useful to be quite honest, but hey, we'll produce some of them. So that's uh, the first thing that I wanted to mention. Second, uh, Korobovdima, I hope I'm not uh, mispronouncing that, suggested that we become a spy master because it's gonna give us an extra spy. Now, while he is 100% correct, we cannot do it because we need 8 upgrades to our agency. And as we are still focusing on economy primarily, uh, I am not ready to do that. But I think that uh, we are going to start looking into this a bit more. Because while I don't, for example, want to get the overseas recruitment centers, even though they might not be bad, if they give more slots eventually... Does anyone know? <laughs> But definitely we would like to get more counterintelligence and definitely a counterinsurgency. And even some more espionage and the cyber, cyber security would be good. But uh, the, the cost in factories is insane, so I don't want to do that uh, at this point. But yeah, he's right, we can become a spy masters, you know, and get an extra slot. Speaking of extra slot, uh, we are soon going to have the Saudi Arabian civilian administration infiltrated, which will allow us to steal some juicy blueprints. So I'm looking forward to that one. And last but not least, there has been a certain amount of discussion on what we're gonna do with our economy. Now, I said this uh, when I was playing Ukraine, I am not a fan of uh, interfering with the economy. I see this sort of as a roleplay choice because the game itself is moving you upwards and downwards and if it starts hitting you heavily you always have the option of doing something with it that is the truth i also mentioned that i didn't think that this was uh or that i see it as, as something that the uh uh, that the player should influence that much. You, in my opinion, you should have, a, for example, an option to trigger an event that might have various outcomes because, you know, Keynesian economics aside, I don't really think that people do have that much control over economy as the game would suggest. But uh, on the other hand, uh, we cannot fall much further from, you know, the stagnation. The fact that we're really not bleeding out money at this point is a testament to how well our economy is actually doing at this point. If we went with fast growth, our tax revenue would be higher by 15%. Just imagine that. We would be swimming in cash. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna... I'm gonna let it be for now, but if we get 
the amount of political power we need and if there is a negative event we might have to try to intervene because I think that from stagnation to stable growth you can easily see the um, government taking the appropriate steps. From stable growth to fast growth it's questionable and to economic boom I really don't think that anyone in the government is that little of a bumblefuck to actually allow this to happen and do the you know, right things and right laws, especially in a country like Iran that is fairly paternalistic. But we'll see. But we'll see. Okay, speaking of money though, I have been looking around and we have an option here which is we can uh, try to get some money from Iraq for, was a, I guess, reparation or compensation? Iran-Iraq war compensation. Our war with Iraq lasted from 1980 to 1988. It began with the Iraq invasion of Iran and lasted for almost eight years, until the acceptance of United Nations Security Council Resolution 598 by both sides. A group of experts were sent to Iran to investigate the issue of reconstruction and determine the damages and they were reported to the Security Council. They announced a direct damage amounting to $99 billion and the indirect damage amounting to $150 billion and a total of $249 billion. We have not yet received this money from Iraq so as uh, not to damage their economy and make it unstable or lose our influence over them. But now we can ask them to pay it to us on a weekly basis with a certain period, within a certain period of time. If they refuse, they will. We have the right to attack them militarily. Oh, so we can ask them for a half a billion a week, which will give us. Okay, we can then. That's gonna take us nine years. But. Okay, let's do that. I, I'm actually genuinely curious and getting half a billion every week would mean a lot for our uh, debt, you know, debt solution. And there was also the possibility to uh, get the new phase of economic plan, but uh, I don't really think we can do it at this point. We have fairly low... Um, no amount of political power so I'm gonna wait. Not to mention we don't have a focus. That's the point where we're getting so much political power. So we're gonna continue with the police chain because uh, now we're getting to the nice things. And I mean not nice things as uh, from the you know real world perspective but from the effects they're gonna have on us. So Titan driving license grants. What is the best way to make sure you don't get rear-ended by a granny at a stoplight? Make the qualification for driving even more difficult. Makes our jobs a lot easier and we would need less road police. So monthly population is increased by 5%, stability by 1% and police cost multiplier lowered by 5%. More money, more stability, more happiness for everyone. Iraq decided to pay war compensation. The Iraqi government decided to pay our war compensation after we asked them to do so. This will harm their economy and decrease our influence in them, but we still need that money. Yes, true. Half a million dollars every week for nine years. That is going to be massive. Massive, I tell you. Okay, so are we still auto-influencing them? Yes, we are. Someone mentioned, and I think it was Wolf out, that uh, not always it goes so we'll check what he means very shortly. Okay, so we finished the infiltration of the civilian administration. Uh, under the cover of a very adverse weather, our team found the previous scouted trail and proceeded across the border without further problems. Our agent successfully convinced a soldier on active duty to work for us in return for a significant sum of money. The team escaped by crossing the border under the cover of night, utilizing a local guide to help them find a way through the border defense. Okay, and now we can... Still industrial blueprints in Saudi Arabia. Wow, our agents are actually doing pretty well. Okay, Outlook is excellent. Uh, commencement ready, prepare. So it's gonna take what? 102 days. So let's wish them luck. Yep, we are already getting the, the juicy money. 
Considering we are in a stagnation, this is the right time to do it, I think. I'm not gonna... One pair auto influence report, so what is it? Yes, one have been successful influence. Okay, so yeah, Wolfa was right. Uh, you do not always probably have the success. And I was about to say that we are not going to spend the money, but considering the events that we're gonna take in the upcoming uh, weeks and months, we really don't need the money at this point, so there is no point in not lowering our debt and saving a little tiny piece of scrap. But, you know, a little tiny piece of scrap that's ours. Also, I'd like to mention that we are getting very close, very close to unlocking more recent slots. We have one and a half trillion dollars. We need two for another slot. And we have 23.16 thousand in GDP per capita. And we need 30 thousand to open the next one. So really looking forward to this. Nice, we've already lowered the amount that we pay every month a bit. Cool. Iraq, you're a pal. You are a pal. Don't mind that we're trying to instigate a sheer coup there. I just mean it as a compliment. How are we doing with Kurdistan? Wait, did we stop improving relations? I guess we did. Yeah, we did. I don't know why. I guess because we've already ended. Uh, and Max influenced them, but there was no way we could do anything, yeah, establish a military base, offer military base, yeah, we're not very close, we could start auto-influencing them as well, but, god damn it, it would be a hassle and we couldn't really pay much for it, I mean, we're already getting very little as it is when it comes to political power, so going even further is not a great thing. Okay, but we do have the army experience now. We do have the army experience now to start training our foreign legion, or what would, what would we call it, like a, a volunteer division, or foreign volunteer division. So some of you mentioned that, uh, and I think it was mainly Volfau, yet again mentioned, uh, that he would use the motorized infantry and stuff like that. The reason why I want to have leg infantry there is that I really want to see first it built from the bottom up because we really don't have much equipment. I want to first uh, improve and fully supply the units that we have and then have these units as... Uh, an upgrade one, and actually nothing really stops us from having them as a special ops, doesn't, doesn't it? Actually, do we have a special ops that we can use? Commando division. Animal brigade. Okay, that might be better. Okay, let's get rid of... I'm gonna duplicate you and get rid of you. And instead have you as this. So what would you guys need? That's a 31 width unit. Small arms, ATGF, man pads, command and communication equipment. Cool, nothing else. That is really good. Anything else that we can give you that wouldn't at this point hurt us much. Motorized recon. Okay, we do have the mic mounted ATG and we do have the utility equipment. Yeah, and here we're starting to see the issues. So, prepared artillery. We do have a couple, but we don't have enough. What about a regular artillery? We do, okay. So, let's make this our uh, IRGC. Uh, let's go with intervention or uh, intervention. Well, let's go with intervention force. And we'll train. How many can we do? I think we're gonna start with training four, but we do have some certain. 
some sort of modifiers. So you know what? Let's train six. Can we train six? I'll change your. Okay, let's put this there. And you cost. What are we missing here? Oh, the command equipment. Okay, but we are producing a certain amount of these. 1800. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. Wait, one more thing I need to do here. Oh yeah, 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 you are a priority unit. Cool. So, okay, let's start training six divisions of these. And wait, one more thing that I wanted to check. Do we have a naming uh, that we could do here? Nope, nope, we don't. Okay, so it's gonna be first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And they are going to be deployed. No, not in Kavir. We'll deploy you in our capital of Tehran, where you are gonna be based. Cool, okay. So we're starting to train our intervention force, which makes me. Actually, we're really happy. We're building a car. Oh, nice! We got a third building queue starting. I mean, it's just one factory at this point, but it is good news for us. Amazing. Iran Strong. Iran Strong. Can we repay a bit of that, Yeva? Yeah, and. Uh, as we're repaying, we're actually starting to get a bit more money. And with the next factory that's gonna be finished soon, or have we actually finished a factory? Oh, we did have finished a factory recently. That's what helped us as well. But we are now getting more than half a billion every week. Okay, so another naval doctrine we can get. Screening efficiency and torpedo hit chance. Well, I guess missile support. Utilizing our missiles for support operations can help amphibious operations and against our foes. So I like that we're actually, and I want to mention, especially with your help, and the comments are inspiring me, starting to expand on our military and the navy and making things pretty good. Okay, so we influenced Iraq, an interesting proposal. Health cost multiplier. Oh, <laughs> no. Even if I consider that, the, the cost for health is so low that uh, that's not worth it. We would save like, what, 200 million every week? That's, that's nowhere near uh, the needed amount. Okay, monthly population stability and police cost lowered. So police cost is going to be nice as well. And we're continuing. Improved inspection methods. Does give us actual increased counterintelligence, which is good as well. How can you tell the difference between a truck carrying eggs and truck carrying resistance supplies? We don't know the answer to that either, so we should inspect vehicles better to make sure we aren't missing out on catching terrorists. Oh yes, the sneaky terrorists with their eggs. Nice, that actually gave us, well, 17 billion, 17 million every week. Every little penny counts. And what the population growth? Nice! We're getting almost 10,000 people every week. No, every month. But hey, that is pretty good. And we're gonna get more now from this. And I think we're also working on genetics. Yes, we are. Human Genome Project. Probably shouldn't have spent all that army experience when we want to design uh, the next generation of our famous Zulfigar tank. Wow, well, nearly three per week. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not great, but it's good. Hey! 603 million every week. <laughs> With a stagnation! Just imagine, guys. Just imagine the wonders of our world if we had more. 16% in Iraq. Well, as long as you pay us. You know, I don't have much of an issue with you. Okay, lower the debt 
slightly further. Yep, 26.9%. That is really nice. Our nation will collapse at the very bottom if our interest rate on debt ever exceeds our gross income. Yeah, so if you're basically paying more on the interest than you have an overall income, you're a failed state. Which, you know, all things considered is true. Hey! Nice two factories now. Life is good. Okay, keep repaying the debt. And be happy with what you have. So how are you doing? Okay, you're getting the command equipment. So are you... Yep, it's spreading evenly among them. Uh, consider, all things considered, I'm actually going to put more factories on that then. Because we need to get this one under control. Like, I mean, two per day, yeah, that's about two years. It's not such a biggie. But we don't have that many factories. Though I think there are some focuses we could do here. Successful influence, trial and error. Aircraft. No, that's naval yards. Maybe down here? No network. Oh, yeah, they developed military industry here. 11 billion. Which might not be bad, you know, all things considered. Okay, and the last one in the police chain that we want to get is mobilize the road police okay that re-increases uh the police cost that we lost so uh zero to zero but we get extra monthly population extra stability and extra reinforce rate to be fair the police are civilian military forces just with more restrictions in the case of an innovation or protest we could mobilize these forces who are trained to point and shoot that is, you know, fair enough. Hey! The civilian population is already increasing on its own. Yeah, we got 66.4 million people. That is nice. That is nice. I'm gonna do an overview in the next episode where we compare where we are right now to where we started. Because I'm really interested in seeing that. Just so that we have an idea. And the fact that we have stability of nearly 100% is amazing. All things considered. That is really fine. Fine like a fine wine. 40 days for the Zulfi guard to arrive. And research penalty to drop to minus 1%. Doing us anything? Uh, no, you're not. So, Wi Fi and advanced computing. And then we can start actually making progress. I don't think we have anything of an air free universal. High police funding. Extensive police funding. More stability. And way more cost. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Quinix. We need to upgrade you when we can. But even just a single step is a billion every week. Even if he repaid all the debt, we couldn't afford it right now. But if our economy ever jumps up, it's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna do, because, you know, more people is good. That should be our focus. We need to get as much population as possible. As fast as possible as well. Okay, so you guys are training. I might have to deploy them manually later on. Oh, I could actually deploy them now and have them train. Speaking of which, that might not be a bad idea. They would give us army experience. Okay, so let's actually deploy you and have you train. You're gonna be a new unit, and uh, we need to promote someone. None of our commanders have any kind of experience, but I guess. You, because you're leading a unit, could be the right guy. So let's promote you. Lieutenant General Kamran Kasemi. Okay. 
so let's assign you and you are gonna be our foreign force one which is a weird name but it's going to be you and you can start drilling which will give us a bit of military experience will it not or are you way too small to be even oh holy hell that wow six units and that is a nearly half a billion dent in our budget we have to be careful with this jesus I didn't realize just six units would be that expensive. Okay, Iraq has been... <gasps> nice! Nice! Iraq has been auto influence, but we got a positive... Positive economy upturn. Recent conditions within the Iranian economy has shown the consumers that now is the perfect time to spend money and make investments. People are buying up goods like they have never before. So extra stability, extra construction speed, and 10%... Income, we are getting 1.2 billion every week now. Okay, and my plan to have you drill is that you're actually so small that you're not giving us anything here. Uh, well, okay. But we mobilized the road police, which is more stability, so now we are at 100%. And we are now getting 14,000 people every month. Good. Good, good, good. Now, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, let's get to that military factory. Considering the income that we have, I think we can afford it. So, I was thinking that we would get the deprived states, but no. Let's get the military factory because we really need it for uh, the construction. I'm building, I mean, for construction for the, you know, C3 I Star equipment production. So let's get that one and we'll look around here a bit in the next episode and see what we can get. There might be a couple more things that we could do up here the road network. Uh, well, I mean, there is one thing that we do want to get if you catch my drift. Uh, or if we finished up all of these, we could go to the fourth development plan and get some more interesting focuses here. But we haven't really, and that's a this is a roleplay choice, per purely roleplay choice. We should look a bit more into Vaja, and we should look in a bit more into the army. So I'm gonna withhold from that and first finish up all of these before we breach. To the further parts of the game. Rather than focusing on provinces that would provide nothing anyway, we could instead focus on our increasing military demands that require a ton of equipment to keep efficient. Uh, Koi. Yeah, let's, let's get it in Koi. It's gonna take 70 days and hit us for 11 billion, but I think that at that point we will actually save all of that 11 billion that we need to get it, so... That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Two more factories coming. You are being worked on as well. Actually, once we finish these two, I'm going to start uh, investing a bit more into the intelligence agency. I want to do that. So, yep. Okay, and I think on that note, we can end the episode here. Uh, with the positive economic upturn, I think we can be happy about that. Yeah, in the next episode we are going to get or start with the second generation of a Zufigar tank. We are going to uh, save up money for the developed military industries. And we are going to start with the overview of the differences uh, that we achieved in those six years from the start of the game. So thank you very much for joining me Now, I'll see you in the next episode.